What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we're talking about three different mech mods at three drastically different prices. We're going to find out which one's worth it, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we are doing a Worth It series. This is inspired by the series on BuzzFeed. If you haven't seen it or you don't know what I'm talking about, go check it out. It's all over the internet. They do like these versus videos of like these $1 tacos versus like $50 tacos and like to the extreme of going to like $1,000 cakes and shit like that. It's actually really entertaining. I have to give them full credit for that. And it's what inspired this video in particular. But instead of cakes or tacos, we'll be doing some mech mods. So with that being said, let's meet the contenders. All right, the contenders for this challenge are the Hades Mech Mod Clone. This is a clone. It's a 26650 mech mod and currently retails for $15 on Fast Tech. Moving on, we have the Dragon Mod Co. This is a Dragon Mech Mod. This is a hybrid style mech mod. This device is made in Canada, which is, of course, especially close to my heart, and has a retail price tag of around $300 when they're in stock. It's about $270, give or take, but they have been in stock for a while. This is a limited run. This is number G048 in the run, and it's, of course, not the most expensive mod in this lineup, so let's get to that one next. Finally, we have the Valerian. That's right. This is craft with handmade Valerian steel. Okay, it's not. But there's a story behind this one. The retail price tag on this one is $15,000, sort of. I'll get to that later on when we get to that individual device. I'll have a fast forward second, just that device, in the, in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But there is a story behind it, so we'll get to that later on. In the meantime, let's talk about the first contender, the Hades 26650 clone. First up, we have the Hades clone. As I mentioned previously, this does retail for $15 on Fast Tech. It is a 26650 mechanical mod with a actual 510 pin adapter or a 510 pin on top, so it's not a hybrid style like the Dragon Mod is, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. It also has a MNKE 30 amp continuous battery in it. Those are the orange uh, 26650 amp batteries that I use personally for any 26650 mech mod I have. I have this one as well as one other one that doesn't work right now. So this is my only working 26650 mech mod at the moment. It does have, like I said, a retail, a retail price of $15 has a locking switch which by the way this is the only one of the three devices we'll be reviewing today that has a locking switch so kudos to that also it has a number on it that's completely useless because this is a clone and just for a little tidbit of information i've actually had this device for two years now so it's it's gone through a beating guys and it is still working no problem at all here is a little snippet of me blowing some clouds just showing you what kind of vape production i'm getting out of the 26650 battery with the hades mac mod all right, so keep things fair in this competition. I will be using my own juice. This is a Robbie Vapes nut butter breakfast. Honestly, I'm a big fan of it, but of course I'm biased, so take that for what it is. I'll be dropping some of that on here, and it'll be using the same juice for all three of these, which we'll be doing separately and independently at the end of every segment. So the Hades Mech Mod, here we go. We can see the vape production here. I'm inhaling and exhale. Pretty decent vape production. Again, this is the Icon RD on top of there with a .15 build on there with aliens from Saddle Horse Coils. Big fan of Saddle Horse, so big shout out to you guys as well, as always. And uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like their coils, just to, in case that matters. So again, as we can see here, it does have great vapor production for a $15 clone. The only thing we can really complain about is that it's a clone. So next up on the list is the Dragon Mod. This is made in Canada. It does have a hybrid style top cap, which in other words just means that there is a direct connection between the RDA and the battery, so use extreme caution if you're using one of these devices. I have gone over battery safety in a previous video. I'll have a link somewhere in this video or in the description or something just to a number of different sites. Also recommend Battery Mooch. He's one of the best people in the game to talk to and of course has some great content all over the web. If you don't know who he is, go look him up. You'll find a ton of information on him from there. Also have a screenshot just right here of some of the battery testings he's done. You can pause here if you'd like, but we're gonna move on in the meantime and the batteries I'm using in this device as well as the Valerian, because they are both 18650s, are the LG HB2, 1500 milliamp, 35 amp continuous. Well, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time, and let's just focus on the device itself. Like I said, this is made in Canada. It does have a copper fire button at the bottom, and it does have a brass top cap for the hybrid style connection. The body is made of aluminum. It's extremely durable. It does have some contours in it as well. At the thickest point, it's 28 millimeters in diameter, but it does have some concave to it that goes down to about 27 and a half millimeters, give or take. Also, the construction on this is four and a half millimeters thick, so it is a very thick mech mod. And one thing to notice is that it does have some battery vent holes in the top, on the sides of it. Although I will be honest, they do seem to be pushed in whenever the RDA is screwed in. So they're going to help a little bit, but they're really not going to be as beneficial as what we're going to see in the Valerian. Now that we finish up on the specs, let's do a quick cloud comp on this one. Again, some Robbie Vapes E-Juice on there. It's about a 90-10 mixture. It's a nut butter breakfast, give or take, but it's probably closer to an 89-11, but it's awfully close to 90-10. So let's just round up. Also be dripping on the Icon as well, using the same RDA with the same build, Saddle Horse Blues, 
0.15 alien coils in here and we're just gonna be hitting it and seeing what we look like. All right, so the first thing we're gonna notice is that it does have a very quick response rate when you hit that button. It does fire pretty much instantaneously. That's one of the benefits of a hybrid style mech mod. Although again, there are some dangers with it. So the big thing is, do the do the dangers outweigh the benefits or do the benefits outweigh the dangers? Know your battery safe before getting into any of these devices. And of course, do your research extensively. So that's pretty much the CloudCom portion for the Dragon Mod mech, which of course is again a hybrid style mech mod. What do you see when we move on to the last one? And this one does have a story. This is the Valerian. This is a $15,000 mech mod. Yes, you heard me right, but it does have a story behind it. So let's get into the story behind the $15,000 mech mod and why it came to be. Now, before we get started, I know what you guys are thinking. I know what the most expensive mod is and it's a meteorite and it was $10,000 and no one knows who got it or maybe you do know who got it. I don't know who got it. Anyways, that's probably what you guys are thinking. This is actually a $15,000. That's in US dollars, by the way. About $17,000 Canadian is what this was paid for. But there's a story. And the story goes, Jay from the Depot, who of course is a great buddy of mine, honestly one of the most influential people in the Calgary Vaping community and doing stuff for all of Canada with the UVRA, which is the United Vape Retailers Association. Big shout out to you guys for doing what you do and protecting us. If you are a vapor in Calgary, you have Jay and the rest of the UVRA to thank for that right. So give Jay a big thank you next time you see him. Again, he's at the Vape Depot here in Calgary, but getting off topic here. So the story goes, a couple years ago, probably about a year and a half, two years ago, he actually went and designed his own mod the Valerian, which is what you see here. From there, he actually went to the Philippines to get it made. He designed it all on CAD or all on AutoCAD and paper and different drawings and everything. And basically what he did was he presented these to a Philippine distributor or to a Philippine manufacturer. They agreed to it. He decided to go to the Philippines over China just because he felt that they did higher end work in the Philippines, especially back, back then at the time, they were releasing a lot of very high end mods and in particular high end mechanical mods. But the story goes on. So he initially put the paperwork in their hands, and then started designing everything. After a few weeks, he ended up sending some money to them. He sent a couple thousand dollars, and in exchange, he actually got the prototype. The prototype, of course, was just to show a rough copy of what it would look like in the end, and wanted to make sure that everything was checked off. Solid Delrin construction, sterling silver plated copper, copper everywhere the eye could see inside the actual mechanisms of the device, copper screws, copper connection points, everything was copper with of course a stainless or with of course a sterling silver coating and of course a solid Delrin body construction. On top of all that you do have the multiple vent holes at the bottom so you do have one on each side which of course does lead directly outside of the mod. Now all this stuff sounds really great and it was meant to be a high-end device. It was meant to be run in parallel with 18650 batteries which as you saw is what the prototype was and basically Jay was so happy with it he started sending more and more money to make sure that everything was going through in production and basically it got to the end of the project. They said, here, we have all of them created. I think there's supposed to be 100 of them, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe 200. I think it was 100 of them that were supposed to be made. And basically, you know, the guy said, it's all done. I just need to pay the rest of the balance off and I'll ship them out to you. Well, Jay paid the rest of the balance off and $15,000 of investment later, he never received them. Weeks went by, months went by, and the guy was being super shady, pushing Jay off, telling him excuse after excuse and basically that he needed more money and that even though they were done, he didn't budget for shipping. And then he did budget for shipping, but he couldn't send him off because he was in a car accident and he lost a family member. And now, of course, I have no issue with losing a family member and I understand it's a hard time for a lot of people, but when someone has $15,000 of their own money invested into something that you are building, you better make sure that it gets sent off. And of course, this isn't like it happened right after completion. This is months down the road. And had it happened any earlier, maybe it would have extended the the, the push a little bit forward, but this is after he's already waited for six, seven, eight months now. Needless to say, it's been almost two years since the actual last conversation took place and the, and the whole car accident, and this guy has basically completely ignored Jay for the last two years. Jay is now out $15,000 US or $17,000 Canadian, which of course is a lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone who's trying to run a vape shop at fair prices with a fair cost. So with all that in consideration, basically, you know, Jay's out $17,000, so this has now become known as the $15,000 or the $17,000 Canadian mech mod that never was. So now that you know the story and a little bit of the specs around it, what do you say we actually do a little bit of a cloud comp with it? Let's see how it fires. It is a dual parallel, I might say, parallel me mechanical mod with that 510 pin. Of course, it's going to add a slight bit of resistance on it, but it is copper threaded, which is a really nice thing as well. So we're going to do that really quickly right now. Again, dripping Robbie Vape Z Juice 9010 mix on the Icon RDA just consistent across all three of these devices to make sure the tests were fair. So here we go, we're taking a hit and we can see there's pretty good vapor production and it does hit pretty quickly. It hit quicker than the Hades and I actually wanna say it hit almost as fast 
if not as fast as a Dragon Mod, which is a direct hybrid connection. And I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but let me know what you think. Anyways, that's going to be it for the CloudCon portion. What do you say we get on with it and talk about the final verdict on these three devices and find out which one is worth it for the money? All right, we're going to kick things off the Hades clone. This was a $15 clone, and it still works after two years. It does have some sentimental value to me, but it wasn't my first Mac mod, so I will say that it doesn't have as much sentimental value as maybe a first Mac mod might. But because it's two years old and it's still working just fine with the MNKE batteries in there, of course, I have to give it big credit for that. But moving on to the Dragon mod, again, Canadian made. I love anything made in my own backyard, anything made in Canada. It's actually made up in Edmonton. They have retailers across the world right now, out in the UK, in New Jersey, in a bunch of other places as well. I don't know the list of them in handy. But again, a great mech mod, and for the price, yes, $300, but it does start out a little bit cheaper if you want to go with the steel and steel version, which is, I think, $250, so you can save a little money there. And of course, it is in Canadian dollars, so all you Americans out there with the dollar so strong compared to us, it might not be that expensive in consideration of some of the other mech mods that I would compare it to, i.e. the Rig V3. Last, of course, is a Valerian. The Valerian, of course, is a $15,000 mech mod. Now, of course, that's just what he paid. That's not necessarily what it's worth to other people, but to him, it's worth at least that, if not more. Keep in mind, this is his investment. This is his savings that went into that device. So there is a story behind it. And I like the fact there's a story behind it because it really does give the device life. It tells you a story of what happened. And yes, it was at Jay's expense. And yes, it's a shitty situation from an absolute scumbag out in the Philippines. And of course, I'm not saying all the Philippines, I'm just saying that particular person. We all know that a lot of great stuff is coming out of the Philippines. So I have no issue with the Philippines in general. It's just that one scumbag out there who I hope rots in fucking hell because of what he did to Jay. And I think that is absolutely shady, especially for someone who's done so much for this vaping community, especially here in Calgary. So Jay, I mean, again, I want to lend my support. I love what you've done with the, with the shop. I love what you do for your customers. And I just want to reiterate that to anyone watching this, of course, as well. If you have another pleasure of meeting Jay, go check him out. Real Vape Jay on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel. He's not as active as, as a lot of YouTubers are, but his videos are very informative and educational, and he loves to joke around and just have fun. So again, with all three of those in mind, and keep in mind the story behind the Valerian, the, the locality of the Dragon Mod, and of course the price on that on that clone Hades mech mod. Which one's most worth it? Well, it honestly depends. I'm going to give you two answers here, and the Valerian has the best story, there's no question about it, but I don't think anyone's going to want to offer Jay $15,000 for that mech mod, just because, I mean, again, yes, the story's great, yeah, it sucks for Jay, but no one is, not your no average consumer is really going to look for a $15,000 mech mod, just because of the story behind it. They want a whole bunch of extras included with that to give them the value sense or the sense of value. So it really comes down to the Dragon Mech Mod and the Hades clone. And the big question is, which one's worth it the most? And I think, again, it does depend. If you're out there just looking to get a Mech Mod for the sake of functionality, the Hades clone, honestly, for 15 bucks, it's a great bargain. Yeah, you're gonna have to spend maybe 20 bucks on a battery, 15 to 20 dollars on a battery. Make sure it's a good one. Do not use EFS batteries in these, by the way. Yes, there are some decent 26650 um, EFS batteries out there, but for the amperage rating, depending on how low you want to build, I highly recommend the MNKEs. That's what I like. Obviously, go check with Battery Mooch and what he recommends as well. Um, again, he has a full list of 26650s as well, so you can check that out. But again, for the actual value of it, if you're just looking for functionality and use, I got to give it to the Hades, the Hades clone. And again, having that top 510 pin on it is an excellent addition, so... I do like that, and if you're a beginner, and you've done your research, and you know what you're doing, and you've learned about battery safety, and you have, especially, honestly, one of the biggest things when doing mech mods is you have to have an ohm reader. You know, you have an ohm reader, you've learned ohms law, you know all that stuff, this is gonna be the best place to start with a mech mod. If, however, you are a collector, or if, however, you're into something that's a little more high-end, you have the money to spend on this, you have the want to have something like the Rig V3, in that case, I have to give it to the Dragon Mod for the value of it, for the actual authenticity of it, for the fact that it's lo local to, Cal or to Canada is all huge pluses in my books. And as a collector, I think it's my personal pick for the winner worth it. So yes, it's an expensive mech mod, but is it worth that the price? I think so. But I'll let you guys decide in the comments below, what do you think of these three is the most worth it? Did you enjoy the Valerian? What, you, what were your thoughts on that? How do you feel? Are you as angry as I am? Maybe you are, maybe you're not because you don't know Jay. But if you knew Jay, I can promise you, you'll understand he is the nicest person in the world and he is the last person that deserved to happen to. Anyways, we're going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this new segment of the Worth It Challenge, I guess. And until next time, YouTube, happy vaping.